I like to type on things. Things that no one else seems to be interested in typing on, like paint chips, book pages, and coffee cups. And today, I want to try typing on something else. Fabric. I'm a huge fan of this company called Litographs. They make custom accessories and clothing that feature quotes from my favorite books. I have a scarf and a shirt, both covered in Pride and Prejudice quotes, made by Litograph, and they're some of my favorite things. So today, I thought I'd try and DIY my own custom typed creation. I knew I needed a white fabric that was pretty lightweight to actually roll through the typewriter, so I got these white bandanas from Hobby Lobby for about 99 cents. I wanted white because I knew the text would really show up well on that, and I also knew that the bandana fabric was going to be way lighter than some of the more traditional fabric thicknesses you might see used by people who are actually printing the text as opposed to typing it. I then cut my bandana in half because it was too wide for the carriage, and began to type my favorite passage from my favorite book, Tess of the D'Urbervilles. The initial roll through took some work, but once I got started, it wasn't any different than typing on a normal sheet of paper. Here I am using my Royal Futura 800 named Covey. It's a portable machine and I had absolutely no trouble typing on the fabric. Every once in a while I would return to the next line and the edge of the bandana would get stuck on the edge of the ribbon vibrator and I would just have to pull the edge out as I kept typing on that line. The spacing would get a little wonky here and there, but overall it was pretty smooth sailing. And when I ran out of space on the front, I started typing on the back in order to get to my favorite line which I typed in red which is where Tess says, they're all better women than me, and Angel Claire responds with, not to me, swoon. So now my passage is typed, and I have some custom Tess of the D'Urberville typed fabric. Now what? I wasn't sure what to do with my new fabric until I had an idea. I live with a bunch of long-haired girls, and we're always leaving scrunchies around the house. What if I could make my own in the litograph style? So, using a Martha Stewart tutorial, which I've linked below, I set out to make my own scrunchie. First, I measured the fabric out to be 22 inches long and 3.5 and inches wide. I cut it, ensuring that my favorite line was still part of what I was using. Then, I folded it in half and pinned it inside out so that the seam would be on the inside when I sewed. I then sewed a straight line to join the edges of my scrunchie tube together. I then had to turn this tube inside out so that the text was on the outside. This was a painstaking process of jamming a pencil into the tube and picking it apart with my fingers. I then measured a 9 inch piece of elastic and threaded it through the tube. I was trying to tie it and it was just too thick so I ended up using a thinner elastic and tied the ends of it together. Then back to the sewing machine where I took the two ends of the scrunchie and sewed them together. And voila! Wearable typed fashion. Things to keep in mind, because you're using ribbon ink, it's probably not waterproof, so just don't go swimming with this. And also, be careful with the sewing machine. I've never used one before, and holy crap was that a scary introduction to this weapon of mass destruction. But fear not, I still have all my fingers. All in all, this is a pretty quick and simple craft, and another cool way to integrate typing into your crafting. If you want to learn about some other crafts you can do with typewriters, Check out some of the videos on this channel, and also check us out on Instagram at just.my.typewriter. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and remind you that you're just my type, writer.